Good evening. I'm Vicki Dorch. Defiance towards the police chief and interfering with investigators. Those are just a few of the reasons the Bardstown police chief gave for firing one of his officers. That officer, Nick Houck, is the brother of the suspect in the disappearance of Crystal Rogers. WLKY's Carolyn Callahan has new information on the case. WLKY obtained 190 pages of documents explaining why Nick Houck was fired. Reasons include interfering with a criminal investigation, delaying a polygraph test, and not cooperating with investigators looking into Crystal Rogers' disappearance. We just can't give up looking for her. And she, she's out there somewhere, so I just have to find her. Outside of Tom Pig's in Bardstown, Sherry Ballard gets ready to serve pork chops. Another chance to spread the word about her daughter, Crystal Rogers. Rogers has been missing since July 3rd. Her car was found abandoned two days after her disappearance. Last week, the sheriff announced Rogers' boyfriend, Brooks Houck, is a suspect, and his brother, Nick, was fired from the Bardstown Police Department. Not that I didn't think that all along, but. Just to see it out there, you know, that they can release that information now was just very good. <laughs> During a closed administrative hearing, Bardstown Police Chief Rick McCubbin explained why Nick Houck should be off the force. The letter sent to Houck about his suspension stated Houck refused to talk with detectives. I gave him a verbal command to cooperate with the lead investigator and to meet with him. He stated to me that he had nothing to say to them and that if he knew anything, he would have already talked to him. McCubbin also wrote that when Houck took a polygraph test, the examiner had grave concerns with the results. Police say Nick Houck also interfered with an investigation by calling his brother while Brooks was being interviewed by a detective. In an affidavit, Nick Houck states the purpose of the call was not to interfere with the investigation but to check on my brother and make sure that he was okay. According to the transcript of the administrative meeting, Nick Houck testified in front of a grand jury in July. Houck's attorney asked the lead detective, is it fair to say that at that point he was a suspect in the case, not just a witness? The detective replied, yeah, I think they suspected he had involvement in it. Nelson County's sheriff believes Crystal Rogers is dead. But her family says they won't give up. I don't give up that little slight hope. We love her and we're still looking and we'll do what we have to do to bring her home one way or the other. Neither Brooks nor Nick Houck have been charged in this case. Sherry Ballard says she has not talked with anyone from the Houck family since the day she reported Crystal missing. Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News. Family members are still searching for Crystal Rogers. They're offering a $71,000 reward for information about her.